that you are all doing well. We've been doing great. Things here have been falling into place for us and we just have so much peace and joy. We've been having so much fun. We just spent the past two days at two different beaches here in our area and we had a blast. And so we want you to come hang out with us here in sunny Florida. Enjoy our video and don't forget to enjoy your life. past two days, we've had some amazing waves. We live on the Gulf of Mexico and the beaches are absolutely breathtaking, but we don't always get huge waves. When we do, everyone likes to head out and surf, but because we don't have a surfboard yet, we like to get out and body surf. We love it and it makes me feel like a kid again. We just got back from church and we had lunch and Isaiah took the kids to Harbor Freight with him to get some uh, tools and things for work, things that he needs so that I could sit down and film this video. I'm so thankful. Um, but yeah, so we just got back from church and I got this shirt because our church is going to be doing baptisms here in a couple weeks and I signed up to get baptized. Uh, so I literally get to get baptized in the ocean and I'm so excited. They're doing it down in Clearwater at Pier 60. Absolutely beautiful there. I'm so thankful to be able to get baptized and especially to get baptized in the ocean I think is pretty awesome since I've always wanted to live by the ocean. So speaking of the ocean, we have spent the last two days at the beach. We went to two different beaches. We live um, in the middle kind of of like Honeymoon Island and Clearwater. And so the first day on Friday, we went to Honeymoon Island and that place is, uh, obviously they're both so beautiful, um, but that place is a little bit less crowded um, and it's more for like locals. And so we really like to go there when we just wanna like relax on the beach, not really do anything else, but just chill and swim and all of that. And Clearwater, is a lot more like populated. It's a tourist attraction. So many people go there on vacation and there's always something going on, like street performers everywhere and vendors and pretty much every which way you look, there's something going on. There's something beautiful and fun to do. And um, I actually got this ring yesterday. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I got it at one of the vendors, Scarlett and I had a little girls shopping moment. We checked all the vendors out and um, she got a ring and I got a ring. And so I love the one that I got because it's a wave. And to me that represents living in Florida, something I've always dreamt of doing. And it just represents my love for the ocean. And I'm so thankful to be able to wear it as a little reminder of my beautiful home that I live in now. And so along with the topic of the ocean uh, and water, something that um, I wanna reflect on really quick is the solar eclipse. Now, closer to the solar eclipse, we're a few days past it now, but um, my husband and I both felt just kind of weird, like waking up for like two or three days in a row um, on the solar eclipse, the next day, the day before, the day after that, like just there's a few days in a row, like a handful of days where we just woke up and felt just a little bit off. You know what I mean? Where you wake up and you just feel like just dizzy and you, you can't put your finger on it. You just, you know, something's different. And we've talked to other people where they have um, been feeling the same way. So with feeling off and all of that with the solar eclipse, something that I'm super passionate about is grounding where you like put your feet on the ground you just basically walk around barefoot um i've been passionate about it for a long time i always tried doing it uh, when we lived in minnesota i was even tempted to like shovel off a piece of like ground so that i could like stand in the grass and do it it's just so beneficial no matter where you live but while my husband and i were body surfing he had a really good theory and that was that salt water and swimming in the ocean 
actually is even more beneficial than just grounding in and of itself. So walk with me for a second here, no pun intended. <laughs> there are electrons in all of us. And when we do grounding, having our bare feet on the earth, uh, those electrons are able to move more freely throughout our body. And so we felt so good while we were body surfing, my husband and I and our kids. And my husband had this theory then that um, being in salt water, being in the ocean actually allows those um, electrons to move more freely throughout our body in a more um, just efficient way because salt water is conductive. And so he basically explained it to me like this. If you are hanging on, like if you go and you grab onto an electric fence and you have shoes on, you're not going to um, feel as affected by the electric fence. Now, if you take off your shoes and you're standing on the ground, you're gonna get zapped. You're gonna like, you're gonna feel it even more. You're gonna get zapped. <laughs> Don't try this, okay? I'm, I'm just using this as an example. <laughs> Don't go and like be grabbing electric fences, okay? <laughs> but um, when you grab onto an electric fence and you are barefoot, you get zapped more. Like you, uh, the electrons go through your body uh, more efficiently. And then he said, if you stand in a bucket of water and touch an electric fence, it's even more um, powerful. So it's been about a month since we've filmed and I've edited this video. I'm about to pop it up on YouTube, but first I want to correct what I said. And that is obviously the bucket of water would defeat the whole purpose because it's plastic and it would be just like having shoes on. So really what I should have said and what my husband should have said is um, standing in a puddle of water uh, still on the earth. And then he said, if you're standing in a bucket of uh, salt water, then it's like even more so, like it's the most powerful that it can be, which I thought was really cool because I already love swimming in the ocean. I, it's just so much fun. I feel so alive and so free and just like a kid again, honestly. And to think about the fact that there is more than one reason why it makes me feel so good is just amazing. And so even if you don't live by the ocean um, and you're feeling kind of off from the solar eclipse, I would highly encourage you to try grounding. It's springtime pretty much everywhere here now, uh, making its way up north and yeah, give it a try. I know that even a lot of our family and friends, they love to ground and just be in water in lakes, uh, Lake Superior. And so just knowing that grounding is important, but grounding in water is even more effective. And if you live by the ocean, grounding in salt water is even more effective. So just a little fun uh, thing that we discovered the past few days with going to the beach and experiencing the solar eclipse, which was amazing. Yeah, just things to think about. So we just got all of the serotonin the past few days with the sunshine and the water and just the exercise and everything. It's just been amazing the past few days. So I hope that you guys are doing well. My AC just clicked on here. Um, but before I go, I want to share with you this pretty, um, piece of decor that I made. I just wanted to make something creative with um, seashells because we've been finding so many and it's hanging in our dining room currently. And I think that it's gonna be something that we keep forever because um, not only does it remind us of the fun times we've been having on the beach, but I think it's just cute too. We've just been finding so many beautiful uh, shells and things on the beach that I was really just inspired to make this. Uh, I really love wood, and so I decided to uh, put some pine and then just like hot glue all of these shells, and I really love it. I think it uh, goes well in our dining room, and yeah. I hope that all of you are doing well. Thank you for sitting and hanging out with me today, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Driving downtown Clearwater, Isaiah just said that it's like driving in the Matrix. Yeah. Explain what you mean. I think it's I think his name is Mr. Anderson on the Matrix, where he just doubles and doubles and doubles and doubles, and he's always wearing a black suit, and black glasses, with a white shirt. Well, it's, so it's because of the Church of Scientology right there. So people are down here dressed up like in suits and stuff, right? Yeah. You can see right here, actually. And, they're, and they are everywhere. There is the Church of Scientology, which is also why Tom Cruise lives here. Uh, that's like the headquarters, so like the head, um, like sea org place. So yes, and there's a 
bunch of people always walking around down here in suits. What? Their symbol on the church is two triangles stacked on top of each other with a snake going through it. Oh, yeah. I saw this. Yeah. 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 Interesting. I definitely don't believe in the Church of Scientology. It does not go along with our Christian beliefs at all, but it is interesting for sure. go to the beach we had no idea that this was going on but it makes sense because there was a lot of traffic on the way down here and trying to get over the bridge we made it to the beach finally there's a lot of traffic today because there's like a fair going on um, we didn't know but you can like see the ferris wheel and stuff but I'm gonna go swimming because that's what I came here for. Uh, what? Millions of big waves. Can you even get that triple wave off? Yeah. Let's do it. Woo! It's so fun to be able to alternate between the two beaches because this one obviously is like so packed. There's always so much going on down here and there's always so many people. But it is a beautiful beach. It's clear water beach and it's gorgeous. So this is where we're sitting today. Lots going on today in Clearwater. Hey, safe. Oh, and then he dropped it. Uh oh, they're gonna come for us. Shopping oh, looks for a while. 
All right, we're back. <laughs> we're gonna get something this time. Sure. Got the Sugar Sand Festival going on. But it's a beautiful day. I just bought this beautiful ring. And so now I'm officially married to my husband and the ocean because, you know, it's a wave. <laughs> so beautiful. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. And it's sterling silver too, so it won't turn my finger green. Ordered Chinese food. Ooh. And me and Scarlett just went to pick it up. Yes. Gonna be delicious. Did you guys have fun day at the beach? Yeah! Let me 